Welcome everyone. This is Jenkins UX Special Interest Group. Today is November the 8th, 2023. Topics on my list, uh, Jenkins Contributor Summit for FOSDEM, what's happened recently in UI improvements, and the Jenkins 2023 Board and Officer Elections. Any other topics that need to be on UX SIG meeting agenda today? All right, then let's go ahead. So first one is just an announcement, but especially to our European contributors, February the 2nd, 2024, in Brussels, there will be a Jenkins Contributor Summit. It's intended to be an all-day event. Uh, we've got a location already reserved. It'll be the day prior to FOSDEM. FOSDEM will be Saturday the 3rd and Sunday the 4th of February. And I'm actually hoping to be there personally as well. So uh, John Mark Mason will be coordinating the agenda. He started the gathering. He'll do some announcing, but we would love to have other contributors join us. And hopefully it's not too long of a trip from wherever you are in Europe to Brussels. Uh, any questions on the Contributor Summit? Uh, All right. Do we have, uh, sorry, uh, do we have any additional things on FOSTEM? itself so we, we will have, have we will have a booth at fosdom i believe okay. that's been that's or a table like calling it a booth is we'll we'll have the thing that we usually have at fosdom as far as i can tell so the request will go out i i assume there will be a a dev room on continuous integration again but more or less uh, ah, okay. I've been told that it has been merged with testing and automation, and we ah. don't know yet if we will have a full day or half a day. Okay. All right. So, so that that's fine. It's we we certainly are evolving as a, an industry. So, they're they're matching that. Any other any other things you need to share? Thanks very much, Bruno, for being involved there. You're welcome. Uh, I don't know anything more about FOSDEM for the time being. Thank you, Mark. Okay, great. Next topic then was what's happened recently in the UI improvements. So first topic, Prototype JS has been released to be, it's gone as of weekly 2.426. About one week from today on the, in fact, one week from today on the 15th, we will release it in the LTS that drops it as well. So thanks very much to Basil Crow, to Tim Jacome, to so many others who have done the changes and uh, nice positive, very, very nice positive. Any questions or concerns on prototype JS? Okay, next topic then is Java 11 end of life administrative monitor. So Java 11, will no longer be supported by Eclipse Temerin and the other OpenJDK providers as of October 31, 2023, or in one case with Microsoft, it's September 30th of 2024. So Four, September yeah. and October of 2024 will end support for Java 11. The Jenkins project will not support a JDK that is not supported by the upstream provider. And therefore, September and October of 2024 are our transition period. And so we're, we're announcing to people a year before that their Java 11 will be end of life. Uh, now there's a, a Jenkins Java support plan enhancement proposal here that has a, a, a description of this, but it needs more details on the transition, what steps we need to take, which components need to be upgraded, how do we do those upgrades, those kind of things. And so I'm working on those details. Uh, just be, be aware that in, and I think it's actually October of 2024, we will switch the minimum required Java to be Java 17. I'll have to look at the, yeah, I'll have to look at the dates to see which one it is. Any questions there? Okay, so next topic then is we've got a proposal for the a replaceable log visualization or let's call it console log is ambiguous there. So a console visualization pull request, what it's trying to do is allow plugins to say how they want the console link to be handled. And uh, the pull request has been submitted. 
it looks like it's ready to merge. The last comment came about, about a week ago. And so I will probably go ahead and propose it as ready to merge after I've had some time to look at it a little bit more myself. But Daniel Beck has said he feels like it's, it's looking good. And we have two, three approvals already, Fran Fernandez, Jerome, and Daniel. So I think we're ready to merge. What this does is this allows um, Pipeline Graph Viewer, Blue Ocean, and a, a CloudBeast proprietary product also to do uh, replaceable log visualization. Oh, Daniel, you're, you've arrived at the perfect time. I was just showing this, this pull request on log visualization. I think it's ready to merge based on your comment here. Let's make that readable. And so I was going to go ahead and flag it as ready to merge and start the 24 hour clock. Is there any concern from you, Daniel, if I were to do that? Uh, if you scroll down, I have oh. approved this pull request. So, I mean, I have no objections. Okay, great. Yeah, sorry, I should have, it was this one where you had optional thoughts. And I think you, you specifically said optional. So I think that means you are okay if we go ahead and start the clock on this one to be prep for a final merge. Right. Um, because in particular, it's not uh, blocking the core implementation. It's mostly about establishing standards for plugins implementing this extension point mm. to have consistent behavior um, that also makes sense in context. Now, uh, in response, Devin's comment pointed out that it's difficult, that the, it's not really possible for plugins to determine whether the link needs to be shown to the custom implementation or not. Um, but I also don't think this is a blocker. It can always be enhanced. So as a first, first iteration, this looks reasonable. Um, and everything that that I asked uh, to have addressed has been addressed. So yeah, this this looks uh, definitely mergeable. Great, thank you. So I'll I'll start that clock then, and uh, that's good. So excellent, thank you. Thanks very much. There were there have been several other UI or experience related improvements that have been proposed by Marcus Winter, uh, and sorry, I know I should call, say Winter. Marcus is German, if I remember correctly. But the word that word looks to me like Winter in my English pronunciation. I apologize. So he's got one on disk space monitoring, on agent status monitoring, and on configuration as code support for monitors. And in various varying stages of, of review, Daniel, I think you'd actually reviewed the prevent reinstall and it needs some additional work, but good progress on all of them. Any comments from others on things that we need to do on any of those? Okay, good. All right, then the, the, the item on cloud management, as far as I can tell, this one's somewhat quiet. Uh, quiet recently there haven't been any any further ob things arriving but more changes i believe are still coming and tim last time we met had shared that he was continuing to work on trying to find a way to better display configuration as code errors in the ui whereas right now uh, when configuration code as code has an error it stops the controller and you have to go read the log files. Any questions or concerns there? Don't we have a new boot failure type for that? I thought I saw a pull request or something. Uh, maybe that's Tim. what Tim was, was talking about on this core change. I'm not sure. It's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a draft PR for core that would make, that would allow plugins to override the boot failure. Ah, okay. So it seems kinda in progress, although the pull request was opened in late August. Okay. So so that, that may be the, the pull request he was referencing. 
And then configuration as code, once that's available, could use that pull request to say, hey, on boot failure, I need you to display this message or I need you to say, and, and that I assume then would still be inside the inside the web user interface. So it's not stop the controller or is that it's actually stopped the controller and I've still got to read log files. I guess Jenkins, I can read them. Jenkins, Jenkins will have failed to start, mm -hmm. but it shows an error on the UI. Ah, it does. Okay, so there is a responding HTTP server at that point. Good. Okay. Right. It's it's a bit like um, when while Jenkins is starting or restarting, the entire right. UI is replaced with something different, and at this point, uh, the Jenkins singleton is shut down, but something else responds, and that's the boot failure view. Got it. Okay, so so that allows consumers to see what's happening without having to go to the log files on the disk of the controller computer. Good. Anything, anything else on that topic? All right. So last topic and Uli with you here, I'm going to, I'm going to boldly dare to share. And, and so the Jenkins 2023 board and officer elections current status nominations have closed. Where and voter registration is closed, we're after the November 5 date. But as far as I understand it, Uli, there was only one person nominated per position that was available. Can you confirm that's correct? Uh, actually, I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it uh, recently. Okay, but so... I should do that. So sorry that I didn't prepare for today because I thought this is something for the other meeting, for the governance okay. meeting. So, yeah. No, no problem. So if you could just double check, I, I, yeah. for me, I think it's, I think that was the last word we had, but if that's not it, then we need to get the election started. Yeah. I think for the board, it's correct, but for the officers, I didn't look. At ah, good. Okay. Them, so, all right, great. Thank you. So postpone this to Monday. Perfect. That's no problem. Thank you. Any or yes. Ah. Yes. Got it. So board yes. Um, well, so actually, I'm just going to delete this, Uli, because that's yours and Alex's to announce. So let's let's leave it to the two of you. Great. Anything else that we need to discuss in user experience SIG today? Good. Let's call it a done session for today. Thanks very much for your time. Bye. Stop. Recording now.